Hey everyone, uh, my name is Andy. My channel is Finding Value. I'm just going to go through financial educational purposes only. What I do when I look at a company that's potentially uh, I'm interested in buying. So one of these was a subscriber pick. It's uh, Grand Tierra Energy. It's creating value in Colombia and Ecuador. Uh, they said that this company had a very good chart pattern. They were looking at it. They shared it and said that they had good potential. So I looked into it and I'm sharing this with everybody. Uh, so this is Grand Tierra. I, what I have pulled up is their uh, investor presentation on their website. I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I'm looking at here. So I'm looking down, here's a snapshot of, of, of GTE, that's their ticker symbol. This is their barrels of oil production uh, down here. And I think that's per day, barrel of oil equivalent per day. So they're doing 30,000. They're just showing kind of what it is per day over time. And obviously we had COVID, so it's gonna be a little bit lower and whatnot. Uh, and then it shows the financials. And the financials, I mean, if you look at this in terms of the year, 350, uh, I believe that's million. And, and you, you go down here into reserves and just look at their 1P reserves here. 1P and, uh, net present value, uh, one and a half billion in US dollars. They're 100% oil. And I'm going, well, one and a half billion. What is their market cap? Their market cap is 170 million Canadian. Well, that's, that's got me interested. <laughs> that, that, that looks like pretty good value to me. Uh, at 2P, it's uh, 3 billion. At 3P, it's 3.8 billion. So we're moving down and move down, move down. Yeah, okay, we've got the strategy here. Uh, high quality assets, competitive advantage, move down. So here's, here's their debt. So they've got a hedging program in place, maturity profile and debt. They've got 215 million committed credit facility due 2022. Uh, they've got 300 million out in 2025 and they got 300 million out in 2027 notes. Type of instrument period, the Brent hedging program. This is their hedges down here. And we can move down to 2021 uh, guidance. Cash flow of 150 to 170 million. That's, that's pretty good with 20 million of it being free cash flow. So that's, that's, that's pretty good. Go up to their debt again. You know, they do have 200 million out here. Maybe, they're, maybe we'll see what prices happen in terms of oil. So uh, production growth to 28,000 to 30,000 barrels of oil per day. Uh, we'll go up here. And I think that's, sorry, it went too far. That's about where they were in 2017. So that's, that's about right. So we'll move down here. Looking pretty good. Brent oil price, 21, 2021 guidance. They have a low case of 44, best case of 49, high case of 56. That sounds about right. Um, earnings before interest in tax, cash flow in, in, in millions, 115 to 135 for the low case. The best case is 190 to 210. Uh, so that free cash flow is going to go way up uh, if, if they have more towards the base case and high case. Expenses are pretty cheap, 8 to $10 uh, for transportation quality. Operating costs are 11 to 13 So operating net back, it, it's looking pretty good. 10 planned wells, capacity of 550 barrels of oil per day. Uh, We've got uh, significant structural cost reductions achieved in 2020 for lifting, workover, and transport costs. They're declining, so that's good. All fields, uh, cash flow positive, that's good. So that's looking, that's looking pretty good. Uh, they've got a bunch of reserves for their net present value. It's looking pretty good. Here's the reserves by category in, in their uh, fields here. Robust independently added reserves, 2019 year-end reserves achieved 200%, uh, 1P reserves. So they're proving up their reserves. 101% of 2P reserves replacement added 25.3 million barrels of oil equivalent of 1P reserves primarily in GTE's four core assets under water flood. Um, and these are the assets that they go into. They're, they're injecting, water injection has flattened production decline. They don't have super high declines. so. You can look through that if you want. Um, they go into water flooding, improved oil recovery, and all these things that they're doing. But in terms of valuations here, it, it's looking exceptionally good 
for you know, a, a company that's got one and a half billion of, of net present value uh, of 10, net MPV 10, one and a half billion, and their market cap's only 170 million Canadian. That, that, that's, that's, that's got my attention. Now let's look at, let's look at um, the charts here. Let's see what, I, what I've got. So long-term, if we pull it up, uh, I charted this out long-term, and they're still obviously way down here. I mean, they're scraping the bottom. So let's zoom in. I've zoomed in here, and this is what the chart looks like. We've got some volume kicking in here, some volume. We've got a big up day here, and then we've got that characteristic pullback. And here's your, remember, technical hats on, guys, technical hats. We've got a wick on the bottom with a bullish engulfing. What do you think someone would do here if they were me? We've got the undervaluation. We've got a company that's undervalued. And we've got a chart that's looking very strong in this. This, is, this means this is going to go higher with this bullish engulfing and a, and a wick on the bottom. Boom, it shot higher. We got a bearish piercing. Bearish piercing. Came back down. Bullish engulfing right here. And we're in a chart pattern. Now, remember, I'm looking at sectors. I've got SM Energy, QEP, which is F-A-N-G, FANG, because they bought them out, Diamondback. And we've got uh, Contango. We got to look at oil and look at those other companies. And those other companies are looking very strong as well. So we got to tie this across. The sector looks pretty good. Oil's looking pretty good. This company's looking pretty good and it's pretty undervalued. They do have some debt. So I'm gonna, I threw some money in it. I threw some money in here. And that's, that's you know, at 30, I think it was 34, 35 cents, something like that, 34 something. Uh, so I threw some money in here. I'm gonna let it ride. And I'm just sharing with everyone what I'm doing and what I'm seeing and how I am evaluating some of these companies. Uh, usually what I do is I get the information directly from the presentations on their websites. And I look through them to see what they're about, what their reserves are, is it oil or natural gas uh, and, and whatnot. But this is looking pretty good and the chart looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put some money in it, which I already did, and, and let it ride and see what happens. So if you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. I uh, appreciate it. If you like making money, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna see other things, leave it in the comment section on what you guys wanna learn and what you wanna see. Thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.